In this video, we're gonna show you how to straighten out a bent penis or curved erection. First, let's try it Harry Potter style. We're gonna use the mending charm, Penis Repera. Well, that worked pretty well. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Dr. Robert Chan, a urologist practicing in California. On this channel, we help men level up their sex and relationship lives by offering medical tips and tricks. If this interests you, please subscribe to the channel below. If you've got a bent penis or curved erection when erect, then you've got something called Peyronie's disease. Peyronie's disease is where you get a calcification or scar tissue in the corpora of the penis. So whenever a guy gets an erection, that portion of the penis doesn't expand very well and it ends up curving in that direction. It can curve multiple directions, up, down, left, right, and it can be as severe as almost a 90 degree right angle. There are a few theories as to the cause of this. What's interesting is what people used to believe, and it kind of goes to show how medical knowledge changes over time. Back in the Dale days, during the time of Heracles, who was a Byzantine emperor in the seventh century, the cause was believed to be incest. The theory suggested that Heracles' marriage to his niece caused him to urinate on his face due to his penile curvature. The more common story that I hear from men is that there's often a history of a traumatic sexual exploit. Maybe their penis fell out while having sex and the woman sat on top of it. Maybe they experienced something called a penile fracture where the corpora of the penis actually tears. For those men who don't remember any significant traumatic episode, it could be something as simple as micro traumas to the penis when they're not fully erect. Normally, you want the penis to be as rigid as possible so that it doesn't buckle. But then for men who have erectile dysfunction, there's areas in the penis that end up buckling during uh, the strain of intercourse. Certain positions are worse, especially with the woman on top. That creates a lot of stress and pressure on the penis. Next, let's talk about treatments. The key is that you really want to try to maximize rigidity. And there's several ways to do this. One is to take a daily dose of Cialis, like a low dose, five milligrams, to help improve the blood flow to the penis. Another is to take supplements like L-citrulline. I've talked about this in one of my prior videos, so please check it out if you haven't already but it increases the nitric oxide, which leads to improved blood flow to the penis. Now these things are great to kind of decrease the chance of more trauma in the future. However, you might be wondering, what do you do with the scar tissue that's already there? Unfortunately, the scar tissue tends not to go away and it can be painful for up to 12 months at a time. While you're waiting for this to resolve, there are certain things like medications called pentoxifiline that can help this process along. Next, let's talk about three different ways to actually treat the curvature. This is for guys who are having trouble with intercourse because of the degree of curvature. We'll start with the simple stuff and then move on to the more complicated stuff. The simplest option is a penile traction device like the Restorex device. The way this works is by mechanical traction on the scar tissue and bending it the opposite direction. This is a series of treatments that you do it for about 30 minutes twice a day for up to 12 weeks. The results of this are pretty good. Now, if this doesn't work, the next option is something called Zyaflex. Essentially, this is some enzymes that chew up the scar tissue in the penis. It's a series of up to eight injections that are spread out over the course of several months. Now the downside of this is that because the stuff is chewing up the scar tissue, there is a potential risk of penile fracture, especially if you have intercourse a little bit too soon after the injection. Finally, let's talk about surgery. I know most guys really would want to avoid surgery if at all possible. There's two main ways to approach this. One of them is the dot plication method where we basically put sutures on the opposite side of the scar tissue to straighten it out. The erection is now straight, but the downside is that you do lose some 
length because the opposite side is getting shortened as well. Now finally, sort of the nuclear option and the end-all be-all option is something called a inflatable penile prosthesis. If somebody already has erectile dysfunction and has difficulty in getting an erection, then an inflatable penile prosthesis. So the process is we put in the penile prosthesis and at the time that we place it, we model the penis and bend it to basically crack the scar tissue so that it straightens out once the penile prosthesis is in place. So now I've gone over different ways to treat it and also medications that can help take it. If you have any further questions, please drop a note in the comment section below and please check out some of my other videos talking about L-citrulline or erectile dysfunction if you have any of these other problems. Thanks and have an awesome day.